today is a long run day and uh, it's pretty hot out, about 24 degrees Celsius on the screen in Fahrenheit. Well, considering for us here in Finland, I think that's pretty warm. Humidity's out there as well. And uh, yeah, I've got one liter of water with me, a couple of cliff shots, three watches, my hat, and uh, good spirits, of course. So I'm wearing the Saucony rides. I'll be getting a full review of them soon. I actually missed doing the first impression because I've just been enjoying running in them and forgot to do it. And I think as Matt Bertron, link down below, said in one of his recent reviews of the ASICS, A6, <laughs> however you say it, road blasts, that whenever you wear the first shoes for the first time or for two runs, you have a sort of endearment towards them. Isn't it like as runners, we love to get running shoes. So yeah, actually I think it was probably quite a good thing because there has been some changes in the shoe of what I've thought of it, how I've enjoyed it or not. But that's coming soon, so we'll save that for another video. If you're wondering where all my water cliff shots and where I'm keeping the camera is, I'm wearing this uh, naked belt and the naked belt, I think it's pretty good because what it does is keeps you cool, no vest, and also the fact that it doesn't kind of change biomechanics or kind of balance. You can keep your hands free. Speaking of hands free, let's put the camera away. So what is the purpose of today's long run? Well, first of all, it's gonna be roughly two hours or 25 kilometers. And I think there's a few key points to the run. You know, every run, as I've said, has its purpose. The long run for today is just about finding a nice, easy, steady pace and just getting out there and getting banking some kilometers and some time out on the feet. But also as every run, it should be the primary kind of driven factor from it is its enjoyment. It's what you enjoy to do and it's what makes you happy. Isn't that right, Thomas? It's about preparing for a marathon. So you can't run a marathon, I think, on low mileage, small runs, and also before your marathon efforts, it's good to practice your race day kind of technique. Oh, sorry, not technique, but what you're gonna eat for breakfast, what time you wake up, what you're gonna wear. So even though I'm not doing race pace effort, I'm doing race pace environment kind of thing. Also, I've come out in the middle of the day when it's probably gonna be its hottest and warmest. And that's because you can never tell what the weather predictions, what the weather's gonna do on race day. It could be scorching hot. It could be pouring it down with rain. So you may as well get used to doing running in those environments. And that's what we're doing here. Also, not just about race day nutrition before, but also during. So. I've got a couple of cliff shots with me. I'm going to be taking them every so often as well and some energy drink as well. There we go, so 45 minutes into the long run and we're going to take the first piece of sports nutrition, one of these raspberry cliff shots. And one little tip, we're coming up to a little bit of a hill here, is don't take the sports nutrition on the hill because if you're trying to breathe for air and eat and swallow stuff, it's not going to end well. So maybe save it for just after the downhill on a flat section or sometime where you know you're going to get a little bit of respite. <laughs> I think someone commented on one of my social media outlets comparison is the thief of joy and uh, yeah to most extent I agree with it but there is a little bit where I don't so let's start with why I kind of agree with it yeah if you constantly compare yourself like okay so today my long run my easy pace and you're like wow that easy pace or wow she did super long run I think we're all at different stages in life and uh, 
we all have different motivations and different reasons and comparison is not really going to help you too much in those aspects caveat to that is that well sometimes you know watching and seeing comparing can actually help trigger like and ignite some ideas i certainly use it like that i'm not going to say that i've never had you know it stole my joy but uh the fact that you can kind of get some ideas and be inspired and some people that's how they get motivated by seeing other people being active getting out there chasing their dreams trying to progress and uh sometimes that can be actually kind of beneficial for yourself as well now 30 in and time for number two click shot What do I think of when it gets like quite hard and it's just straight, hot, monotonous and you're like, oh, when is this going to end? I actually just love embracing that moment and just loving embracing that kind of pain in a way. You've worked hard to get there, so you may as well enjoy it, I sort of figure out. I'm not in pain, it's not hard, but you know, do anything for two hours and it starts to get a little bit taxing, probably even more so on the mind of anything. What I would do to go swimming right now, but we've still got 20 minutes left. So actually where I'm finishing is just over there, several hundred meters, but we're gonna go this way <laughs> why would i want to go that way if the finish is over there because what i really enjoy doing is training isn't always about physical aspect but mental as well and for me what i like to do is when you're towards the end of the road the run rather also road and you know where the finish line is go push yourself a little bit more and go away from where you're meant to be going so I'm doing like a kilometer over there plus a loop and go back over there just to build up a little bit of mental clarity to stay in that moment and uh, not get too caught up on like the finish lines over there so mental endurance also <laughs> oh, there we go that is the long run done how funny is that I was meant to do the lesser of 130 minutes or 27 kilometers and uh well bang on 27 kilometers and uh, 130 minutes so that's a pretty kind of good run in the bag and uh felt pretty good throughout the whole time took the sports nutrition in had some fun enjoyed the heat enjoyed every little little part of it and um pushed myself a little bit mentally as i said with that little extra loop at the end Uh, well, there's two things that I've been thinking about on my whole run and the two things are I wanted a smoothie and to run and jump in the water. But Emma quite rightly pointed out I'm not going to jump in where I don't know how deep it is. We're in marathon training and what matters most is getting to that marathon in good shape and not with any kind of stupid injuries. <laughs> Maybe a stupid entry, but ah, oh, yes, this is what running is all about. There you go, that rounds out a perfect long run. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Any comments or questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next one.